Hey, hey, Bounce Ayo here. Hope you're doing well. Thank you for joining the channel, the chat. Thank you for entering. Um, welcome to This is Bounce Ayo, where we go through app UX, app UI. You should watch this video on full, sc full screen portrait. Uh, so it can feel kind of like, you know, like the app is already installed on your phone. Um, that being said, today we are going to be reviewing a simple website builder. Last week I also reviewed our website builder today I decided let me check out another one just to compare the differences so that um, if you'd like to create websites easily on your phone it's something that you can set up um, so Jimdo creator very minimal at least the the logo um, I like minimal logos so um, I like the J let's see uh, it has a rating of um, 5.0 from uh, only six ratings so take that with a grain of salt let's go let's go through some of the screenshots and just see what the promises are so you can choose a template upload pictures edit text and done okay an easy way to create um, your website using templates you can add text photos blog you can create a store you can create a website with content let's see you can create rename organize and even hide sub pages so you have a way of organizing sub pages you can upload photos to your website easily you can create or edit your blog uh, right on your phone um, so very cool looks like you can set up a <clears throat> a website and uh, yep let's just check it out and see I've tapped on open so I'll say create a new account it requires me to create an account let's see so I'll say continue with Apple if you don't want to please untick this box of course cool I do not want to receive your things thanks okay continue now let's see um, so hide my email thank you there now true face id it's gonna do all its magic and then it's done so let's see this sign up process how that's gonna work it's loading and uh yep so now i think it's presenting me with a few templates which i can select so it looks like um extreme sports i don't like this one uh wait 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 can i swipe Oh, so you can tap you can tap on one of the if you tap basically on the in the center of the screen you're going to um, open the next step but now I'm just more interested in finding a theme which I like a template this one a bit better kinda although I do not like the mobile view this one they all look kind of the same at least the mobile ones kind of look a bit too similar for my liking but uh, the design here has been changed up like that mm. let's see so so far i do not see any theme which i think is like beautiful but um i am going to select uh maybe that one okay my domain so i'm gonna say here bounce io of course check availability it's checking availability let's create our free websites and this is where you're gonna find you know the tribe bounceio the bounceio guys are gonna all converge on this website jimdo free to check out you know the stuff so great job woohoo we all signed up so you can now start editing your website let's go um how would you like to be notified when new orders are made oh would you like to be notified nope that's a trick you know strictly necessary can i turn that off enable all disable all go back um accept only selected this is so malicious the way these people try and you know confuse you to selecting the wrong fucking cookie shit as in do you really need that cookie stuff that <sighs> fine never mind maybe i'll make a video about you know how deceiving these these people are okay so um we just landed on our website so this is totally different from the user interface that our last app provided what was that app called I think something about uh, I think something like block I think that's what the app was called and then you have sunset moments so my assumption is I feel like I can I can tap on this sunset moments and edit something okay that actually worked so I'm gonna write here uh, please subscribe uh, so I don't die how about that so I don't we need an apostrophe there okay die cool that's cool save that and then here you can select images 
I like. So you can even ask it to, um, let's say, choose existing. Oh, okay. Don't allow it to access my photos. Never mind. So it lets you select photos. And then um, what's this? So you can, I'm not sure what that means. When I tap on that, you can also add links. Okay, cool. You can add links to the different, the individual photos. So this is an example text. You can change or delete it. Let's see. Okay. This is pretty cool. I think between this one and the other one, which are for now I'm going to be calling, um, I'll call it block, but um, sorry about this guys. I just, I just need to Google real quick and just see what this other app was called. I'm sorry for this. This is so unprofessional, you know. I should already, oh, it was called Universe. Okay, so uh, I think this is more intuitive than Universe. Universe had this kind of a block system uh, with drag and drop. This one kind of presents the page exactly as you would see it. And then you can just tap on the different elements and be able to edit them. Let me see if I can actually edit this line. Uh, let's see. So a country story, nope, that's not what I want to change. So, okay. So we're at the bottom. Let's see what kind of other, other options are available for us here. Horizontal line. Ah, I see. So it's possible for us to edit. And then I can put this horizontal line above that. Done. Wow, that's very cool. That's very intuitive. So you can drag it down. This is much better. Okay, title and logo. You can add a title and a logo. So bounce IO, let me say that. Let me add the title called bounce IO. So the, up there you can see it's called bounce IO. Let's see, you can even add a logo and a sidebar. Let's see, add element. So you can add horizontal lines, share buttons. Tap on the share buttons. Maybe I'm gonna tap on FB, Twitter, and Reddit. I read it on Reddit. Um, shapes, I'm gonna make them circles and then save. Now, let's see if they pop up. Oh, there they are. Wow, this is a very, very um, good user experience so far for me. I don't like the general design. Like, I feel like um, Universe had better designs when it came to the websites themselves. But um, this is much easier to build and much easier to understand. Um, but there are a few options. So let me tap on this plus and see. Oh, that's how you add new elements to your site. And then now let me tap on here. So this is now uh, an easy way for you to know um, how it's going to look on your web page versus on your on your website versus on your on your mobile device, which also very intuitive. Again, that's a very good thing about this and then share just allows you to share the links and then refresh allows you to refresh the link what does this do this one just takes you back so that's a back button so at the bottom um, from the left to the right you have a back button here you can switch between web and mobile view here you can add more elements here you can share and then there you can refresh now there's a few icons at the top let's check out what they do there's navigation Oh, so this is where you add different pages. So let me add, yep, let me add about me. About me, save that. Awesome, awesome, awesome. So now that we have an about me, it also popped up up there. Oh, that's very cool. And then I can tap here. I can, maybe I want to add some text. I say, hey there, uh, welcome to my website. Save that. And we're waiting. Hey, there it is. There it is. Text with photo. What does that do? Hey, there. This is text with photo. There. Uh, uh, no, I won't take a photo. Thanks. Um, well, this is a very, very, very intuitive, cool way of building a website. I'm actually very impressed by the the ease of use and just the, you know, the it makes sense that this is how you would develop a website on your, sorry about that, that, never mind, ignore that. Okay. So 
yeah i really like this uh, app i really like it um i feel like the designs might be a bit limited um but actually let me try a bit more to to figure out a nice template so let's see which let me try and actually find a template which makes me happy whoa so it actually it has this wordpress kind of vibe it's a bit simple i don't see um a way to make like something super dynamic um but still like just being able to do something like this on your phone if they are able to get you better looking designs because these ones look a bit um you know a bit squarish you know a bit the same ish uh i like this one so let's stop on that miami let's save that cool and uh let's see what will happen it should instantly change to miami is what i was assuming right here let's go to home and see whether that changed please subscribe to that okay um how do i change the theme i thought i changed it so i'm gonna tap on settings up there again you can also see statistics which is awesome so design background um i thought i changed the design hmm okay um last test is let me copy this and then and then just check it out online um like actually open a browser and look at it and let you guys know how this looks wow accept only selected it also has that cookie policy but i actually have a whole ass website that i made on my mobile app this is one of the most interesting apps i don't like the design i'll repeat that but um it's a very very good experience you even have the menus here i can see the menus also on my website so i'm very impressed by this app um so if you need to put up a website or just a landing page really quickly without a custom domain unless you have to pay which is now i'm curious about how do you where's the where's the pricing and stuff like that um let's see free now let's look at the now let's look at the the business model are you just gonna let me make sites for free hmm well it doesn't look very apparent the business model as well so definitely recommend this app um if you need to put together something really quickly this app really does the job and if you play around with it i'm sure you can be able to improve the designs yourself or just come up with something that can work for what you what you need basically either way that's it um thank you so much for clicking on this vid um i love zia and i'll see you in the next video bye bye